good afternoon good evening good morning good night whatever time you are watching this video today we are discussing on electrolyte ureas and creatinine test and i am musa shwaibu Komoko. thank you for joining me on today's discussion uh, quickly in the brief of our discussion what we're going to discuss on is the list of all uh, that is under study list of tests under electrolyte urea and creatinine when you are doing electrolyte urea and creatinine you have to do sodium analyze sodium you analyze potassium you analyze uh, chloride biocarbonate urea creatinine and glucose so those are the tests under investigation of uh, electrolytes, areas and creatinine test. Now, the first of all, we are going to look at the estimation of sodium and the potassium. As we can see, there are three methods that can be used for estimating uh, potassium and sodium in the blood system. Okay? Which are number one flame emission spectrometry second ion selective electrode that solid phase or dry reagent techniques these are the techniques but we are only going to focus on um, flame photometry now flame photometry a flame photometry has the following component it has a nebulizer. The nebulizer is a component that helps in mixing sample with air and then spray it to the burner as a fine spray constantly. It has a mixing. That is a mixing chamber with a, buff, a, a buffer. These are components of the photometer helps in mixing the atomized and fuel while the buffer helps in separating large particles. To waste and allow the small particle to pass through the flame. You have a burner. This component helps to reduce metal to atomic uh, state and excite the atom to give out light. So with this, it helps to control the gas and air pressure. With this control, it also helps to maintain steady uh, blue flame. It has a wavelength selector. Since the estimating of the uh, using um, uh, flare photometry has to do with wave it has to select the specific the exact amount of wave which is being required to in order to have a you know accurate result so it has a wavelength selector this component have to select wavelength emission that is to be what measured now the mechanism of areas and creatinine when a light focused on the flame this help in selecting a narrow band filter wavelength. The dilution samples and the standard are carried out manually or by peristatic pump that is a part of the flame photometry. The diluted samples are made up of lithium. The diluted sample is drawn via capillary tube with the help of air supply by the compressor. The air current in the instrument causes splitting of the sample into a haze of tiny droplet, that is nebulization. A larger droplet of the sample goes down to the bottoms of the nebulizing chamber as a waste, while the re uh, remaining high haze mixture with the propane. So the mixture passed through the buffer plate when passing the air current is ignited, which then causes burning and convert the presence of matter to atomic form. Photo detector measured accurately light wavelength from the flame and the signal from the sodium and potassium are compared from that of lithium at a constant concentration where any change signal is detected as a result of irregularities in the flame. They are compared for the same of that of lithium channel 
the results are displayed via digital panel and printed on the right out to save as a permanent record. Now, the observation here is that flame, gas, and air pressure must be regulated carefully so that it will give a constant flame that is blue. The following gas can be what used propane gas, butane, acetylene, coal gas. Nebulizer, make sure that the rate of sampling is constant and also capillary tube must be washed on every use. Standard, it is necessary that when carrying out a series of determination, make sure that a standard solution is correctly inserted to give an accurate reading. In order to avoid the contaminations of the standard solution, don't insert a suction probably directly into the storage button. But for instruments that have built-in diluter, standard solutions which have the same viscosity with the plasma or serum should, use, should be used. But when an internal reference is used, a standard and sample are diluted in a solution containing 15 millimole per liter of lithium nitrate. Now, sodium potassium estimation. These are the region you have stock sodium chloride, which is a standard 0.1 millimeter molarity. Sorry. Now, the composition is made up of sodium chloride 58.45 gram, distilled water 1 liter. Now, the preparation is you have to dissolve 58.45 gram of sodium chloride in 200 ml of distilled water. Then make up the solution to one liter with a distilled water. Second reagent, reagent B, stock potassium chloride standard standard composition, potassium chloride, distilled water. The potassium chloride is 74.55 gram. Now have to dissolve some 24.55 gram of the potassium chloride in 20 ml of distilled water, make up the solutions to one liter and with distilled water. Here we have um, the table, the table chart of our analysis. Distilled water, a stock, a stock of the potassium, stock of sodium, a stock uh, sodium slash potassium. Here we can see that the first uh, row is that two wind, 120 divided by two, and so forth. The methods here for examination of potassium, uh, sodium potassium set up a four test tube. When you set up the four test tube as just the way we arrange it on this um, uh, table, first, uh, which is a test tube, you add 0 0.1 ml of serum plasma. The second standard one, 10 ml of deionized water. The second, uh, the third, 10 ml of the same deionized water, add 10, 10 ml on the, what, the fourth tube of deionized water. Now, on the test tube, this stands for test, test tube, that's 0 0.1 ml of serum. Now, on the standard one, add 0 0.1 ml of standard one. Standard two, add 0 0.1 ml of standard two. Standard three, add 0 0.1 ml of standard three. Now, precautions. Make sure that the sample stand, standard preparation is well mixed. The air compressor should be switched on and the air pressure should be what adjusted. The atomizer is, ch is channeled to introduce a deionized water. To make sure that the deionized water is introduced via atomizer, the gas should be what switched on and the flame adjusts when it is adjusted. Properly, it is expected that it give a sharp, fine, cold flame. Filter of both sodium and potassium should be placed uh, simultaneously in an appropriate place. Then set the machine to zero using deionized water. Standardized standard ones should be placed just the potassium and sodium to zero. That's adjusted to zero, 2.0 and 120.0. Standard two and three should check should be used to check to make sure that it displays the same 
concentration for both potassium and sodium. The diluted serum should be introduced and appropriate readings of both potassium and sodium and sodiums noted and record. Note that blood sample left stand for more than four hours is most suitable for this analysis. So never use any blood sample stored more than four hours because there will be a leakage of electrolyte when the sample is left for more than four hours. Now normal range potassium normal range of potassium is 3.5 to 5.2 millimole per liter while of that sodium is 135 to 146 um, millimole per liter reference uh, we drives our work from medical laboratory service science theories and practical by j purchase and a kolkata uh, baker and cell button introduced medical laboratory Estimated of plasma sodium chloride with a colometry. Colometry. Reagent one have diluting fluid compose a glassy acetic acid, hundred mils. Concentration nitric acid, uh, sixty point six point four mil. Deionized water, one liter. Preparation. Mix 100 ml of glassy acetic acid with 200 ml of DNS water. Axis 3.4 ml of water concentrate, uh, concentrate nitric acid and make up the solutions to, with the DNS water for 1 liter. Region 2 in indicator solution is an indicator solution. The composition is a, it has a flavored gelatin 16 gram, 6 gram, thiamol blue 0.1 gram, thiamol. 0.1 gram and DNS water 1 liter. Preparation Dissolve 60 ml, 6 ml of unflavored gelatin, 0.1 gram thiamol, and 0.1 gram thiamol in 500 ml of DNS water. Make up the solutions to 1 liter with DNS water by gentle heating. When the solution is fully dissolved, bring the solution to room temperature and make it up to a liter with um there nice water store at 25 degrees Celsius. sodium chloride composition that's the standard sodium chloride at 5.85 gram of sodium chloride at the nice water 100 ml dissolve 5.85 grams of sodium chloride in 100 ml of the nice water now method Measure 0.1 mL of serum in test tube. Add 2 3 to 3 drop of reagent 2. Dip in the electrolyte in the test tube. Switch on the machine. Start the digital display. There will be a stop of the display reading on machine when the concentration of chloride is indicated. The same procedure should be repeated with 0.1 mil of region 3 in order to be sure of the accurate of the result. The normal value is of serum uh, chloride is 75 to 105 millimole per liter. Thanks for watching. If you like our video, please hit subscription there to be getting our update anytime we publish we upload a video. Thanks. Bye.